This is the man from Modesto. Let's go over some scriptures that discuss what happens when someone's tongue uh, runs to gossip and slander and backbiting. And let's also discuss in the latter part what happens when one uses their tongue to encourage and to build up. So let's look at these. Psalm 12, 3. Uh, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Psalm 34, 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Psalm 39, 1. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with the bridle while the wicked is before me. 52.1. Thy tongue devises mischiefs, O thou deceitful tongue. 57.4. My soul is among lions, and I will lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. 64.3. Who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. 64.8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. They shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. People don't understand that. They set out a snare, even speaking evil to bring someone else down, and they really lay that snare for themselves. We are able not to pass unrighteous judgment unfair judgment on someone else, but instead the rod with which we measure is used to measure us ourselves. How many of you have spoken incorrectly or unfairly or in haste about someone else and then at some time in the not too distant future from there found yourself in the exact same situation? I have. So let us keep our words carefully and cautiously. Now, let's see here. Psalm 78, 36. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, with God. And neither were they steadfast in his covenant. Okay. Uh, one more. Isaiah 3, 8. For Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of his glory. Okay, now I'm going to cut to uh, some more positive scriptures about uh, a righteous tongue. Okay, Psalms 12:6. The words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Psalm 15. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaks the truth in his heart. He that backbites not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor. So these are the people King David is saying are going to reside in the tabernacle of God. Okay, Psalm 37, 30. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom and talks of judgment. Talks of judgment? But I thought you can't judge me. Okay, let's go to uh, Psalm 71, 24. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. That's King David speaking. See, Proverbs 10, 20. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. Proverbs 10, 31. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. Ooh. Let's read that one again. It's a direct comparison. Proverbs 10.31 The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. Proverbs 12.18 There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. So they're saying, if you are wise, your tongue is like health to those around you as opposed to the piercing of a sword. Okay, just two more. Uh, Song of Solomon 4.11 Thy lips, O my spouse, drop as the honeycomb. Honey and milk are under thy tongue. So here's a description of the Holy One. Okay, uh, Proverbs 28.23 He that rebukes a man afterward shall find more favor than he that flatters 
with the tongue. So that's a theme that kind of pervades throughout all of them, is that flattery God doesn't like. Uh, trying to uh, work some guile with your tongue through flattery, through smooth manipulations, uh, God doesn't like that at all. But instead, His words are pure. So we who are seeking to be Christ-like, who are seeking to bring ourselves uh, closer into holiness, uh, closer to God, uh, to be more fully and completely even inside God with Him completely in us, our words should be like His words. Jesus said, I only do and say what I see my Father in heaven doing and saying. So we should, also, we should likewise uh, perform our life this way and especially with our words. So let us be mindful of our words. This is the man from Modesto reminding you as always to pray or be defeated.